cash is cash is king. Credit is unlimited. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I like to use credit as like insurance for real, for real. like you feel me? Um, especially knowing that the banks is gonna pay you back after making you you know after you pay them. Mm. So the banks pay you back after you pay them. You get mm. what I'm saying? And they pay you back in cash back reward points. Mm. Now if you are gonna make an invest, that's just your daily spend. Now, if you're going to make an investment, always make sure that that investment is going to bring you back a ROI, a return on your investment. How soon, though? Depending on how soon you need to pay it back, back. Depending on the credit card that you got. Okay. You feel yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So you might go get a 0% credit card with 15 months. That's a year and three months. That you got to make some money back. You, you feel me? And if you're a hustler and you know that your product or service is going to do that, then why not? <laughs> All right, man, what's poppin'? You know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J. Hill. J. Hill Podcast. We in the building. Special guest. Oh, man, this is uh, one of my favorite parts of recording when I can just kick it and chop it up with people I call friends, man. You know, a lot of times in the industry, we get a lot of work, man. And the work get done, and I ain't complaining, but ain't nothing, it, it's, it's nothing better than sitting around like genuine, like authentic Energy, man. My guy, KC, the GOAT CEO. Stay, vil- stay vigilant in the stay building. Stay vigilant in the yes, building. Yes, sir, man. bro. finally here, man. I'm I, just happy to be here, man. I'm happy you could be here with me, bro. Yeah, man. How you feeling, dog? I'm blessed, man. Marvelous. Yes, sir. Marvelous, you looking man. good, nigga. Listen, man. Hard, hard work going to show, yeah. <laughs> nah, facts. <laughs> hard work going to show. Likewise, man. Yo, yeah, man. I see you, what bro. you doing, man. How, 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 like, how is it, man? I know um, we both moved to Atlanta, like, yeah. probably around the same time, for real. Um... I always been for you, bro. Oh, man. I mean, I always tell people, man, get out your environment. You know what I'm saying? So that was the first step for me. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Just walking by faith, just getting out my environment and just going, just starting. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And ever since then, it was just like, what's next? I'm here. I'm bored. What's next? Let me get somewhere else. My next thing is like the country. I'm trying to get out. Like, right. I'm trying to get out. What made you choose Atlanta, though? It was Black Hollywood. Like, yeah. Atlanta was like my playground type time. So mm-hmm. I always used to come here partying whatever the case may be, but I always knew it was entrepreneurs here. Mm-hmm. And that's the lane that I took. I was a nine to five person. Then I was like, I'm going to just go to Atlanta because I was already used to it. You feel what I'm saying? And some of my old partners, they was already here. So mm-hmm. I was just like, all right, bet we just going to build. And we was all from Philly. We all just going to build. Came out here. They wasn't, you know, clearly they not my partners no more, but came out here. And I just was like, you know, I'm going to take over mm-hmm. in, in the field that I'm on. Yeah. You know? Did they go back? Oh, y'all just don't, y'all don't even talk no more. Yeah, they just, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, you know, you elevate and yeah. things start happening. Now, I only ask that because, like, boy, Atlanta, <laughs> it, boy, it'll turn the biggest tricks to regular yeah, niggas. I'm like, telling you. I'm like, tell- selling to my dog. I ain't even going to say my dog <laughs> name, but I knew Atlanta was real when my homie from, our homie from D.C. came down this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, he got it right up about it. Part, he he like, got, I'm, I'm, when got, I seen that nigga, yeah. I'm not competing with that. I was, I was, I was part of that. I was like, man, you know, if I come down here, it was for a reason. Like, you know what I'm saying? I did all my partying. He yeah. didn't get his out the way yet. I did all mine. You Bro, that me? scared me. But it, that moment right there humbled me. Like, it was just like, nah, I ain't coming out here fucking off. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nigga. Yeah, man, I had fun, but we ain't. And knowing I ain't knowing that. that. Like if, if 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 he this he was one of the <laughs> he that was nigga one of the do ones. that shit. Yeah, it was it was easy. If it humbled him, like I'm not playing. <laughs> I don't need to, I don't need to touch the stove to know it's hot. <laughs> I learned through my dog. Like fuck. Yeah, man, it was like going out back to back to back to back. Ooh. Yeah, man, he, he said got right up by me. I'm like man, when he. he Cause you're like, that's my like that's how nigga so it's like and he talked the most shit. So yeah. for him to be like, yeah. nah. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Not. If you you come out of Atlanta and you think you big dog and you think you about to do it, you usually Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> man. And that humble beat real quick. It was just like, yeah, I could play ball, but it's no need to. You know, yeah. you see me when you see me. Mm-hmm. You you understand what I do. You, it been there before. Nah, man, fact. Just, I feel like it worked better that way too. Absolutely. Cause then you I feel like you, you one of them niggas you could pop out whenever you want and niggas just be like, uh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I know. like, you know. They respect like, it. But I don't want to water down my name either. Yep. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be somewhere and they know I'm about to be there. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? That's just watered down my value. Nah, fact. So for me, it's just like, you know, you know. If you know, you know. And if you don't, you're going to find out. Facts. That's just how I feel. Nah, I know. Do you think, like, even, you know, the funny thing, the same thing they said, like, will make you laugh, make you cry. Yeah. 
same reason you be attracted to them. You don't like it. So like Atlanta, it being Black Hollywood, when you move down here and you really experience Black Hollywood, yeah. how was you feeling? Was you loving it more or it kind of turns you away from it? I mean, at first, you know, it, it, it brung me. Like, it was just like, all right, cool. I see people in Rolls Royce and all that. But now that I've been out here for years, like two, three years, it's just like, a lot of people, it's just a massage, like a facade type shit. Like, you yeah. feel me? A lot of people be capping. A lot you of know what I'm capping. saying? Like, a lot of people be capping for social media. And, you know, it's just like, if you know, and you know, you like, damn, this nigga don't really got yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Not No hating, but it's just like, get it how you get it. But I know the real. Like, mm. you know you know what I'm saying? Like, lying make these people feel good, but the truth hurt. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, That's I fine. know. <laughs> Jeez. You feel what I'm saying? Let me ask you this, then. Do you think... um? When you first got, we going back to when you first got out here. Yeah. Before you knew it was a facade, did you try to like chase the shit I mean, that you were saying? It wasn't more so chasing, you know what I'm saying? Because or try to be in that, inc- try to do what they was doing, not understanding that these niggas not even doing it for real. At first, it was just like because I would say yes, I would say yes. Why? Because I knew I can really do it. Okay. You feel what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? Like it wasn't like everything I say I do, I do. Facts. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So it got to the point that it was just like, oh, all right, damn, you just grabbed that. Oh, I, I can do the same shit. You feel me? But I can do it two times. You feel what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, but then it's just like, come on, bro. Like, you don't gotta do that. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you ain't gotta do that to sell. Mm. People going already, if you who you are, they gonna feed off your energy. Is that really true though? Cause like, yo, you're a fly nigga, bro. Yeah. And you think if you weren't as fly, you still would get the same amount of hits? Absolutely. The reason being is. My my me, I'm me. Mm. Like take the fl- I get all this, like, yeah, I can dress out jewelry and things of that nature. But for me, of course, I come from the hood, so I gotta get a Rolex. Yeah. I got to. That's a hood trophy. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. But I don't need this. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. I just got it because, you know, it, it boosts me up. I don't have people see you before they talk to you. Mm. And I learned that. Like, all right, you see what I got going on. What you do? Mm. You're a rapper? Nah, I ain't. that's the first thing people say. You're a rapper? Nah. But that's what I do. I change lives. How? And then we go into it. You feel what I'm saying? So they see me before they get to talk to me. Mm. Um, but for me, every piece of jewelry that I have on, for me, it's an investment. Mm. Because I look at it, if I was to go broke tomorrow, I can go sell this shit and get some type of coins from it, right? Or you can go insurance play and say somebody took it, they cash you out, and then I can go take that bread and go make me some money. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So everything I got on... Is an investment for me. Mm. Would you think the first piece of jewelry you, a person should get, a man should get? A man, a watch. The Rolex? Yeah. You think so? A watch. A nice, it don't got to be a Rolex, just a, a nice watch. Okay. Which, yo, give me the rules, bro, because you know there's different rules to this shit when you start getting. <laughs> is it a Rolex you shouldn't, if, like if you can't afford a specific one, just don't get one, or, or you can get in the door by getting anyone? I mean, you can get in the door depending on how you, you know, if you want loud, you know what I'm saying? Mm. If you, you know, I feel like, for me, I always got what I want, like, what I like. You okay. feel what I'm saying? I don't really get what people, you know, they think I might like. You feel me? I might ask you just off of your opinion, like, damn, you like this watch? And you might like, yeah. But I'm like, no. Nah, okay. I'm going to go get something else. You feel what I'm saying? Or you could be like, yo, you like this watch? You say, no. Nah, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to go grab it. Okay. Because I thought, like, you shouldn't get the, what is, like, the the, the, the small face joint? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I started off, honestly, I started off with a 36. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. I, I, thought I started off with a 36. It was, um... It was silver with well, platinum with the blue dial. You know what I'm saying? Started off with that, but then I started seeing motherfuckers with the big shit. Yeah. You feel me? And I was a rookie to it, but I knew I had a Rolex. Mm. And even in high school, I had a Rolex, but it wasn't mine. It was my uncle's. So I would take his, and but it was still a 36. It was on some business type. You feel okay. me? Okay, okay. So, you know, but then when you get to the entrepreneur side, they, they see big ass AP, <sighs> Rolexes, yeah. big joints. You feel me? But all reality is all this diamond shit, that shit don't. Yeah. It, 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 the same price that you paid for, you return it back, you're not going to get that. Facts. Let me ask you this then. We see the entrepreneurs. I feel like in this in this world, it's either the clout yeah. or the money. Right. Which one holds more value today, you think? <laughs> for entrepreneurs? As, as just, I guess, if yeah, if you're an entrepreneur, you're somebody that's, that's trying to start your own business. That's a crazy question, yeah. in my opinion, but... Niggas out here dying for clout and yeah. dying for money. Like, yeah, yeah. that's a crazy it's, question it, it, that I'm it, thinking it, about. It's dry out here, so they definitely need the bread, but they'd rather have the clout, I think. 
Mm. You feel me? I'd rather have the money. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? I don't really care too much for clout. Yeah. Like, if I go viral, it's, like, unexpected. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm really genuinely trying to tell somebody, like, bro, I was just like you. Mm. You feel me? So, and I'm getting money. I really don't give a fuck about clout. Yeah. Clout ain't making me. I ask that because, like, it, it's always, like, it's, a, it's the, the niggas that got the bag. Yeah. But they like, man, I'm trying to get in front of some faces. Yeah, depending on what, what the well, depending on what they doing, what type of product service they doing, you feel what I'm saying? Like yeah. for me, I'm more so I'm trying to get off of social media. What? Yeah, it's depressing. I'm trying to get off of social media. I can see that. You know, I'm trying yeah. to be like a, a a wealthy guy that you just gotta see me to see me. Yeah. You feel me? Like social media is that shit depressing, bro. So wait, 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 hold on, hold on, before we get there, because that's some real shit. But you went viral on Twitter not yeah. too long ago. That's I didn't even know. I didn't even know I was going to go viral. I just took my shahada. Hey, ladies, <laughs> it's him. Fuck you. This is him right here. You see the thing with the, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> with, the, with the muscle <laughs> outfit on, was it, bro? Yeah, man. That's him. <laughs> if you ain't know, just let me know. Fuck around right to pull a picture up. <laughs> that yeah. shit was going crazy. I didn't, I didn't even know. Like, I took that picture. I went to Dubai. You feel what I'm saying? And I, that's when I was showing my interest. I just wanted to see how that culture was. So I went to Dubai, took the picture. I been posted that picture. You mm -hmm. feel me? And then I was on, I had took my shahada, and then I, Ramadan was on his way coming up. And I seen there was a thread going on. I'm like, all right, bet. I'm going to post this picture again because I'm yeah. looking for a Muslima. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I just turned, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to see what's going on out there. I post it. You know, I start getting retweets, retweets. I wake up, my phone just flooded. Going crazy. Going crazy. So I'm just like, now I'm thinking business now. Yeah, that's how I'm about <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Now I'm thinking business. How can I convert these people? Because I feel like every follower is a dollar to me. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So how can I post these people? I mean, how can I convert these people to pay for my services? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or how can I help these people? Did out? you see any type of conversion at all? Yeah. Really? Yeah, hell yeah. So, yeah. I mean, see, that's why I'm saying, like, the clout do something. It do something, but... I don't really care for it. Yeah. I didn't. That wasn't my intentions to go viral. Right. You feel what I'm saying? But now, if I'm doing that, let's make use of it. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, I'm not the. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm not. All right. So you got some. <laughs> some people they be acting to go viral. Yes. You yes, feel what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Like it's like, and it, it, they do dumb sucker shit. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not on it. I got one name, and I'm damn sure not gonna put that underneath that dirt. Yeah. Mm. Fuck that. So I'm not. Losing my morals or principles to go viral for what? Like that's not yeah, me. You nah. know what I'm saying? I think, yo, I think that's the that's where we from, bro. Like Philly, yeah. Baltimore, yeah. like certain shit, bro. I'm just not rocking with. Yeah. Like certain shit, I can't rock yeah. with. People start getting money and start losing their fucking marbles. <laughs> They start losing their fucking marbles. Thank God I get to talk to a real nigga. In this <laughs> God damn, you know bro. Like they start losing their marbles. It's bro. like niggas can only hear clout money. Clout money, yeah. like it's you can only hear two things, and yeah. it's like, bro, I need to do something to get clout so I can get this money, and it's like, bro, like that ain't all life about. Nah, like you nah. said, like what about your name? Yeah, hey, man. Like I, a nigga will drag his own name yeah. through the mud just to just, he a back door nigga to get some money. Just, it's like, bro, that yeah, shit. Man. Like I just feel like you know when you just said back door and all that just to get some money, just ask, bro, how you do that? Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Just ask. I'm on some BMF like Big Meech. I, we all can eat. It's enough money out here for everybody. everybody. Let me help you. Let me put you in a position <sighs> to get some. You feel mm. me? Now, if you don't get on this money train, that's on you. Yeah. But I offer. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna do no sucker shit. If I see you up, you feel me? I see you up. Let's Salute. just yeah. <laughs> like it's that simple. Like I'm not gonna do no like no bullshit. And I seen that. Like that's what Atlanta. I see that. Like you feel what I'm saying? I so see that. you like you feel like niggas done this to you? Cause you, I, I mean, I don't, I don't want no names, but I yeah. only ask that because I don't know, bro. Like, I, like even when I came, I was doing some shit for you because you was helping me out, and you always was like just low key, like you was cool, like yeah. So I, it's hard to hear you say this. Like, you I feel just, like you experienced this down here. I mean, I experience pillow talks. You feel me? But I be the first one to uh, like approach that situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I'm a man at the end of the day, so I'm gonna approach what's going on, but. Them, like, actually, like, I just be seeing, like, little sneaky shit, so I avoid all that. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Because yeah. at the end of the day, I know where it can go, possibly, and I know where, and at the end of the day, just, you Yo, know. Yo, you know what I don't fuck with? And it's not, like, about anybody else. It's really about, 
I don't fuck with like a part of me want to be able to mind my business. Like yeah. for example, I'm hanging with some niggas, right? Right. And they talking about somebody that they fuck with. Right. And if we not that cool, but like y'all super cool, right. and you talking to them about that, like part of me be like, I be like, bro, that's corny. I'ma speak up. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't fuck with that shit, yeah. but then what happened is now I get blackballed or niggas don't yeah. because then, then, I ain't the yes man. See, the thing is, what happens is once you start, it's like you just said, it's three people they talking about whoever and you involved. Next thing you know, they gonna say, "Damn, he just said this about you yep. and all that." And it don't even gotta be about entrepreneur. This is real life yeah, shit. Right? You feel me? I don't like, even play that. I don't even like doing that because now you saying stuff about my name and then I wasn't even talking about cuz and now we getting into it. It's just like <laughs> I hate it. You feel what I'm saying? I really do. I hate it. So I just I just tell people, don't put me in your mix. You feel okay. what I'm saying? See, me, I'll be like, ah, see, I think that's my issue. Like, I'll be like, man, that shit corny. Yeah, Why I just niggas? say, don't don't put me in your mix because I don't, I know where y'all going to go with this. You right. feel me? Like, it's that he say, she say bullshit, and we too old for that, Yeah, bro. I got to get out of calling niggas out. I think, because that's too, why I don't like, niggas don't like hanging around yeah, me. Yeah, like, we, too, we too old for that. Like, nah. And I don't even like hanging around everybody, like. I want to know the right people and I want the right people to know me. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Hanging around with everybody, that's how people, you know, destroy your name for real, for real. Like, yeah. put you in that mud and all that. Like, they now you in a mix. And you I ain't knowing what you want. That's a fact. You ever get caught up in, like, wanting to be around, like, the in crowd in your industry? Because, like, with you, well, with, all, with both me, both both of us, too. Because yeah. I got, like, the podcast industry, yeah, 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 like, yeah, niggas yeah. is going crazy. But you got, like, it's like entrepreneurs down here really getting to it. Yeah. You never got caught up in like wanting to be a part of the in crowd type, like no. almost. No? no. I want to know who I want to know. Mm -hmm. I want to bring value to you and I want you to bring value to me. A lot of entrepreneurs, <laughs> and I don't got nothing against entrepreneurs. You feel yeah. me? I just got stuff against the fluff. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of entrepreneurs, uh, Make it look good. they act like they want to be your friends and all that. And then when you say, hey, you know, put me on this or put me on that, and now it's a price tag, but you was just mm. shaking my hand. Damn, you my man. What's up, bro? Da, da, you feel what I'm saying? Now you want me to join your mentorship. Yeah. I ain't on it. Yo, let's talk about that, bro. I feel like, because... I, I don't know. <laughs> nah, because I ain't gonna lie. I got mixed feelings about this, because coming from Baltimore, for sure, I thought all that shit was whack. Bullshit. Yeah. For real, to keep it hunting. But then, I'm gonna keep it real. I got around, maybe because of the people I'm around. Like, I got around the niggas that's doing the mentorships and shit. Mm -hmm. And them niggas, like I've talked to the niggas that was in their mentorship, yeah, and they be talking like highly about them. Niggas. Yeah, that's cool. So it's like, I feel like part of me feel like that shit might be worth it. I don't know. No, it's worth it, but I'm not like, all right, you my man, right? Yeah. And we go out, you know what I'm saying? Now you got, it's levels to friends. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I get that. You feel me? You filter them out, whatever the case may be. But if you come up to me and say, yo, KC, you know what I'm saying? Because you showed me how to get this high limit credit card or whatever the case may be. I ain't going to say, all right, give me 300 to get on the call with. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. just going. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I, that makes sense. But even like me, to be real, I guess we could, this is a real story. So I came down here. You got my credit lit. Right. I fucked it up. And like, I ain't never want to hit you again because like, I just feel like that's a beaut. I, I don't know. Like, I we homies, but right, I'm not right, about right. to like. That's your business. Right, right, right. You get what I'm saying? I so I didn't even feel comfortable enough to hit you like, yo, can you? You get what yeah. I'm trying to say? So but that's honorable. Like, that's a conversation that must be had. You mm. feel what I'm saying? Okay. You feel me? Like, I, it's just like, oh, are right, you telling me, all right, this is what you need, this is what you need. And you my man. You know the value that I can help you with. Yeah. Let's value for value. Facts, yeah. Because even, yeah, I even was like, yo, I like, I'm not coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not coming sh handy handy. Nah, that's a fact. Like, yeah. like, and I'm not one of these leads. I'm not a lead. You okay. feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm one of the ones. Yeah. Just like you. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, I, as I respect you, now, if you saying, if I'm asking for too much, and you're saying this price tag, I, 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 I'm honorable, huh? Let me do that. Okay. But we ain't going, you feel me? Like, you going to ask for something, too. You feel me? I, but you, wait, 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 wait. Now, I'm just, I'm just, we just popping shit now. Yeah. You paid for the game, right? Yeah. I remember you telling me. Yeah. Was that your homie or just? That was my homie. But how you feel about that? I wanted the game. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I wanted... So how that happened was, he was going to probably get that shit to me for free. He already said it. Okay. You feel me? But I ain't on your time. That was you being honorable, too. That was me being honorable. Yeah. I respect what you got going on. Now, I don't want no free shit. Yeah. Now, I respect what you got going on, and I ain't on your time. So yeah. if I would have got it for free, yeah. I would have been waiting, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, the case yeah, yeah. may be. I see what's going on. I see it's lit right now. Let me give you this paper. 
Okay. Now you on my time. That's facts. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Again, and I just understood this shit. My why is to control my own life. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want nobody in control but me. Yeah. So if I can be in control of a situation, I'm going to be in control of it. And that, that ain't nothing wrong with, like, I think that's just how it is. Like, if I'm going to look out for you, I might sl- I might drag my feet. Like, I don't, like yeah. that ain't nothing wrong because I, I got to take my business first. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, business yeah, yeah, is yeah, business. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I get that. that. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's so, not, that's like, I'm a, I'm a. I'm going to look out for you, yeah. but you probably just got to wait for me. But then again, this all get tricky because now you looked out for me. You might throw something go left between us, mm. and now you're going to use that against me. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So now I, I'd rather pay to play. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I'd rather pay to play because mm. I know what may come with this. Right. You feel me? Just don't treat me like a... I'm just not a lead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you feel what I'm I saying? get that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a lead. Yeah, it, you know it's funny because even like it sounds like we're talking about integrity, but it's like it's so hard to draw the line of where it is because it sounds like you're saying, "Bro, like fuck with me how I fuck with you." Yeah. But then at the end of the day, because I fuck with you, I'ma still end up. Paying anyway. Right. You feel me? Like, even if it's not the price, I'm still, like, because I'm an honorable nigga. Yeah, you I'm just saying? honorable. I'm going to show you love. Like, don't just, oh, yeah, you need this, 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 this. Don't treat me like a, like a sale or, yeah. like, like you said, a lead. Yeah, I'm going to get this, yeah. this. Oh, yeah, what's the name? Did my mentorship. You might as well join uh, 20000 Yeah. Right, come on, bro. Yeah. You're talking to me disrespectfully. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, facts. That's it. Now, now I really got to feel, you're acquainted now. Yeah. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Nah, I get that, And bro. I understand that. You feel me? But. <sighs> Do you think it's hard living in a space like this, being from Philly? Uh, I want to say hard because we, now go deep in that question because I can go living wise. I feel like it, nah, nah, nah. Like emotionally though, I'm happy I ain't in Philly. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, happy yeah. I'm not in Philly. A hundred percent. I'm saying how like just like we talk about, we talk about friendships and like just acquaintances. Yeah, I feel like rela- relationships. It's different, bro. Like in Baltimore, granted, everywhere a nigga could use you for what you got. Right. I get that. Right. But for the most part in Baltimore, and I'm pretty sure it's the same in Philly. If a nigga don't fuck with you, you know it. You know it. If, you like know down it. here, you <laughs> <laughs> you got hear it from somebody else. Oh yeah. my, bro, that shit. I ain't gonna lie. It, that messes with my bro. It yeah, you drives got, you got, me you got, crazy. You got hear it from somebody else. Like, damn, I th- why he ain't come to me. Why she ain't, you mean? Why bro, he ain't come to me? That drives me crazy because it's like the relationship is not real. Down That's here, what I'm bro. It, it, It's that, a facade. Everything. That shit, fuck, I ain't gonna lie. Some, not as much now, but at first it would, it really, it really bothered me. You know me. why I was like that though? Again, we entrepreneurs, right? And when PPP came around, everybody had bread. So everybody wanted to be around each other. You feel mm, what I'm saying? Yeah. Now that shit ain't around. It's just like, I'm just itching for a cell now. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just like, Who's going to be my next stuff? Like, you feel me? I don't care if you my man. Or I'm going to take your platform, and I'm going to take all your stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not genuine. I mean, it probably was never genuine because the money was involved, right? Right. But at the end of the day, it's just like, it's dry. The streets is dry. So yeah. I got to figure out. And I was already, oh, yeah, popping it. I just grabbed this. I just grabbed that. You feel me? Now I got to maintain that image. Mm. Come with clout. Yeah. I got to maintain that image. But I don't even really got the paint like that no yeah. more. You feel what I'm saying? Damn. So it's just like, you know, I'm going to put dirt on his name or her name so I can bring they followings over to my shit. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, and what made you get into the uh, the credit shit? I just, I mean, honestly, I just felt like it was a need. You feel what I'm saying? Because you was working on it. You, yeah, getting, you was, had a good job. Yeah, I was an accountant for three years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you had a good job. I was an accountant for three years, but that wasn't my passion. My passion is helping people. Mm. You feel me? And then it was on some shit like, what's the need? And I, like I said, I seen folks over there that he was getting, he was popping with it. And I'm just like, bet, let me pay to play. And I knew with that information, how I could take, I already had an image. Mm. You feel me? I wasn't creating an image from scratch. People always wondered, damn, what KC do? Because I never was public about my accounting job. You feel mm. me? You just seen me pop out with nice shit. You feel what I'm saying? So everybody was always on some, damn, what KC do? We got this. I want, you know, I want to image him a little bit, you feel what I'm saying? Or, you know, motivate them or whatever the case may be. Um, and then from there, I took off. It was just like I was 100% in. I, before I quit my 9 to 5, I had to make sure the entrepreneur, the credit shit, was taking care of that. Mm. Um, and then PPP came around. 
Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Dio, do you think the um for the credit business too? I mean, all type of entrepreneurship took a hit after the uh the pandemic for sure. Do you did it take a a significant enough hit where it was like, yo, what am I gonna do now? No. For me, no. Okay. Uh, Why you think so? Did he laugh for that? Because it was just like, I'm a businessman. I peep trends. Okay. You feel me? So I'm not in a position where I'm going to keep my price high when everybody else don't got bread. I'm going to switch things up. Instead of one time, I'm going to go recurrent. I'm going to okay. make it cheap for somebody to go have the opportunity to change their situation. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And from there, like even if I'm recurrent, I'm not going to keep my recurrent cost high. Mm. I'm going to drop it. And I know how to budget money. I, I don't live above my means. It might look like it to other people, but if I made a purchase, I can do it two, three, four times. Okay, that makes sense. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And so yeah. at the end of the day, I always tell people money management is important, more important than having money. Mm. When I had a nine to five making 50000 a year, people, I still was doing what I was doing. Like I said, I had 36 millimeter Rolex. I was still, I had a challenger. I still was doing what I was doing. So people was trying to understand what I was doing. I was managing my money properly. The same principles and morals that I was managing, how I was managing, I still do it to this day. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? I use trips. You might see me trips, flights, whatever. I don't even use my money no more. I got reward points and things of that nature that pays for that. Mm. I figured out glitches in the world. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And people don't figure out them glitches yet. Mm. And, you know, it's... But when you got a gym, like myself, understand that you got the gym mm. that can actually say, hey, you got to have a conversation with me. Yo, bro, how you do this? And I'm going to tell you. You feel what I'm saying? But you can't let your past relationships with others yeah, I feel like how you deal that. with new people. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, facts. Destroy that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I had to learn that too. But yeah, I was always big on money management, man. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? I made that fifty look like it. It was more than fifty. Yo, how like how's getting into the credit a little bit? Yeah. How quick can you turn around somebody' credit? Like if it's real bad, I feel like my shit was super fast. But how fast was yours? Like my shit was. But I don't, I feel like I might not. I'm gonna answer the question. How fast okay. was? Mine had to be like two months, bro. I ain't gonna mm-hmm. lie. But I, I I also feel like mine wasn't as bad. Like, I, re- I feel like it was probably easier to do for me. I mean, every report is unique. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like At that s- time, it was easy to do. I like to say six months or less. Okay. Depending on somebody report. Okay. Now, we got to be realistic, but you're going to start seeing things come off your report 30 days, you know, two months. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, every month, something's going to come off. Like, as soon as you gave me your information or anybody... Disputes out the door. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, because at the end of the day, my goal is to get you right so you can tell your family or friends, and I don't have to preach. I don't have to sell. I'm not yeah. a salesman. I just know how to do the work. I know how to get results. Yeah, word of mouth, boy. I word of mouth phone. is the best. You feel what I'm saying? And again, that's a glitch that I understood. I'm like, all right, bet. If I can get this person right in and out, and everybody else is doing a year or they fucking people over and shit like that, I'm in my own lane. I'm unique. Yo, our man's told us about the affiliate program. Why you ain't tell me about that? Here, bro? <laughs> Cause damn, I just, I just, I just started that not too long ago, man. That affiliate program. I'm hurt, man. Yeah, I just, I just started that not too long ago, man. Damn, yeah, man. man I, yeah. I could have made some yeah, yeah, money. Yeah, I just, I just started that not too long ago on some like, you, cause like I said, it's money out here for everybody. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So it's just like, I'm like, how can I help people? who's sending me other people like they doing a sell for me right so let me and then what's beautiful is it like as long as that person that you brung in the door is stay active you get paid monthly oh shit so it's like a recurrent thing if I'm getting paid you getting paid too. I, you you set that up or you gotta manually do that them numbers by yourself No, nah, I set it up so it's like an automatic payment type yeah. Oh nah, that's y'all yeah. cracked the code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I might have to hop on and get you a sponsorship on a podcast. No, nah, for sure. Like, we, could, <laughs> we could definitely, we could definitely work something out, man. I'm that, all about that's you crazy. Now nah, that's fire. Okay, so um, Be- hold on, hold on, because that's and I want people to understand that that's the business of itself. You get me that affiliate shit. Mm-hmm. I get paid being an affiliate from somebody else too. What? You, like let's just say, um, I needed people to sign up for credit monitors or. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I understood that game. Yeah. And if I can bring 50 people, 25 people, that's my rent due. That's my rent bill. That's a car note. That's yeah. insurance. So now that's taken care of. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I was just like, all right, let me do that for others now. And that's uh-huh. how we work. 
Damn. Yo, so let's let's get into the business a little bit. All right, good. <clears throat> What's probably one of the best decisions you think you made when you started doing credit repair? Believing in myself. Okay, number two. Something like actionable. Actionable? Damn. I feel like I think I know one. <laughs> you think you know one? I think. What's what? Uh, the um, the virtual assistant shit. Oh yeah. I thought you was telling me about you was yeah. You really went hard. For, you were telling me about this shit. Yeah. Man. You was like, man, this the wave right here. Yeah, that took so much time off my hands. Like you feel me? Like because I was doing disputes. Mm. You feel me at first, and I had got an opportunity to um get in a mentorship with somebody. And he was going over automations. But then he told me about um, his VAs. Mm. I'm like, all right, cool. And I was talking to my man. Shout out to Alex Connect. I was talking to him. And he was just like, yo, I'm going to get his virtual assistants. And they was working, whatever the case may be. So then I was just like, all right, bet. I'm going to just take that risk and get my own. Mm. You feel me? And I ended up getting my own. And they was getting more deletions than I was. And they was working faster. And they was cheaper. So all my employments is in the Philippines. Damn. You feel what I'm saying? And that right there just was like, oh, yeah, I could pay them, let's just say, 300 every two weeks. That's 600 right there. Yeah. So now my my margin is, and I'm bringing in X, Y, and Z. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And from there, I was just like saying, and I'm treating them good. I'm giving them bonuses. You know what I'm saying? Everything that, because it don't cost me nothing. Right. You feel me? But to them, it's something. Right. It's a, it's a lot, honestly. You feel me? So, um, you know, yeah, VAs was VAs was definitely clutch. I don't think I would probably be in this position if I wanted. Yeah, how much work you think you do now? Like, far as you, like your work day, for what you do? Uh, I still, I still get busy. Really? Yeah, I still get busy because I'm still working on the business. I'm not working in the business. Mm. I'm working on it, like operating and making sure everything is smoothly. Still front line. I still have my monthly calls with clients just to give it because if you pay. Me, let's yeah. say you ain't know me. You paid me, right? I want to hear you. You want to hear me. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm honorable enough. Why not take three days out the month to do that? Okay. Now it's not with everybody, but they get an opportunity with a link to okay. talk to me. It's free. That makes you feel sense. me? Now it's not free if you miss it. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? And that's when I get paid. You feel me? But at the end of the day, you know, I try to put myself in the client's shoes. And if I want it this way, I know the client would want it that way too. Right. Um, but I'm still working in the business. I mean, on the business, not in the business. Um, and then I do other things as well. So I know that this automated and this doing what it got to do. Now I got other opportunities or other adventures that I can spend my time on. Yo, what you think is the um one of the the mistakes that credit repairs do the most? <laughs> Take people money. And don't do the work. Like what? Like just stealing it? Like, like I wouldn't say stealing it, but you know, put a, a facade on. Like, yeah, I can take this, 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 that off. They do one time payments. People pay fifteen hundred, two thousand, and no work is being done. You feel what I'm saying? Like you might do their disputes for one month, mm. but no work after that. No work is getting done. You get what I'm saying? And that hinders, it don't hinder me as much, but it hinders other people. Because now it's like, all right, I just spent $2,000. I ain't fucking with nobody else in that credit repair yeah, space. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So, and I tell people, like, I try to tell people, I wouldn't, me personally, I wouldn't pay nobody um, one time. Because looking at me being a consumer and then me being a businessman, right? If I paid you one time for your service, and I know it's going to be a monthly thing that you send them, after I pay you two thousand, your rent probably two thousand or twenty five hundred. Mm. You gonna spend that that month, mm -hmm. and you're not gonna be motivated to finish my shit. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So why not do it on a monthly basis where I can hold you accountable mm. every fucking month that my shit going out and my talking to you, and if I don't get that, you don't get paid. That's a fact. So that's how I, I transform my business to be like hold me accountable because I'm gonna hold you accountable too. Mm. I need you to do X, Y. I need you to build your report. Well, I'm going to tell you what to do, but I need you to do it. And if you don't do it, just know I did my work because you're going to see it. Mm. And now it's up to you to do what you got to do. And that's how. Damn, that's that's a real. You feel me? Damn. I, I You know, it's funny. Um, I guess I didn't I didn't really think about it with you because I think, like, we had was already building a relationship. Yeah. 
But one thing, like after we was done, one thing I was hearing people say was they didn't really trust credit repairs because you got to give them all the information. Right. They could like steal your information, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. credit card fraud, yeah, all type yeah, of yeah. shit. That's another, that's another thing. You know, if you were to say, give me a list of two, I would have said that as well. Um, but again, that's when you got to do your due diligence. You know what I'm saying? As a consumer. Um, and me being honorable, I really don't want nothing from you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, pay me for the work that I'm doing. Don't run off. You shouldn't want to run off. You feel me? Don't run off. And let, let's both eat. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know what I could do with this information. But you got some people, now, I don't pit, don't put me in nobody else mix, but, you know, people be having other people, IDs, information. But after you get done being a client of mine, I'm ready to, I don't need it. Right. Um, that's terminated out my system. How, how can you ensure, like, because uh, for the people that might be skeptical, mm -hmm. how can you ensure their safety? Results. Results of other testimonials. Mm. Check me out. Go on my page. Talk to me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. ask those questions and see how I answer. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's you doing your due diligence. Ask somebody that you see on my page. Yo, you went to, I seen that you went to KC the GOAT. How was this process? Or how was your information? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. ask those people. And it's going to be, every time I go live, I be have, shout out to my clients. I'll be having clients, old clients, clients that was my clients. I've been doing this for four years. Not on what, I never really had no type of complaints mm. about my name, about my business. Mm. It's always KC changed my life and this about a month. KC did this, KC. KC got me this business credit card, 50000 100000 You feel what I'm saying? Like, because at the end of the day, I'm genuine. I want to, my purpose is to help somebody change their situation. Mm. Yeah, let's talk about for the people that got their credit done. Like, let's talk yeah. about me. I'm going to use me. Yeah. I'm going to be the sacrificial lamb for y'all. <laughs> people that get their credit good and then fuck it back up. Mm -hmm. I, it's as, as crazy as it sounds, I didn't even think that was a thing. I didn't think that I was going <laughs> to... First of all, is that like is that normal? Yeah, that's normal. Oh, cause that's I like, I was embarrassed. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even want to tell nobody, that's, like, bro. That's normal. Bro. I see my shit at like seven something. Somebody probably watching this and laughing because they just fucked they shit up and they got to come back to me. <laughs> that's why I say I'll be the second because I'm like, bro, I didn't. I was so embarrassed, bro. I'm like, I didn't want to talk to nobody. Man, like you know, I grind them up. Like my clients that I got them right, got them out the door. You feel me? They came back and. KC, I fucked it up. I'm going to grind you up mm. because I've been told you what to do and all yeah. that, but life is life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, what, that's exactly what happened. Life is life. It's going to always life. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? But right. at the end of the day, um, don't let the system keep you where you at. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, the government is a business. Don't let that shit keep you where you at. Mm. If you got a gym that can change your life again, Nah, that's some real you shit. You feel what I'm saying? Go to that gym and get your life changed. Again. Nah, in fact, that's the, bro, that's the real shit. Yo, so talk to me about that because we um we ain't get into this, but I think I don't know if you was just getting into it. We was started to talk about like business credit, right, 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 at right. that time, right. Are you like full fledged into it now? Was you just getting started? Because I remember it was like it was. I don't know if it was new, but it felt yeah, like it was just. It, it was. About it, it was new. Like so, I was just starting off with the funding. I seen that that was another opportunity. Like okay. why fix their credit and not take them all away? They already trust you, KC. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just like all right, you fix somebody's credit, they already trust you. Continue. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So um, right now I got that automated as well. Mm. Yeah, I got a whole team where um, you know, that's his field. And he takes care of that. And, you know, we do what we got to do mm -hmm. on the back end. Is that really better than... I mean, I don't know if this is a rhetorical question, but like, is it, that's better than the personal credit, right? Because that's what we hear. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think both is good. Both is great. Why? Because if you just fucking with business credit, they give you 100. Why not play with your personal, too? They give you 50. That's 150. Mm -hmm. You want the most that you... You want more than less. You get what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you still need your personal. Mm -hmm. Especially if your business is fresh. You feel what I'm saying? That don't got when I say fresh, that don't got no business credit, no loans on it, no credit cards. They gonna PG you. Personal guarantee yeah. for people that don't know. They gonna see how honorable are you. You get what I'm saying? And that's when I come into play. I don't fix business credit. I fix the personal. Let's get that right. Let's show them that you honorable. Let's put some debt on your report. Because all credit is is being in debt, maintaining your debt, right? Mm -hmm. Let's put that on your report. Show the banks that you honorable. Let me go get some business credit. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Now that you honorable on the personal side, that's your resume. You don't need to play with that no more. That's your resume. Just It's like a trophy. You yeah, keep it just... It's, a, it's just like a job called you just did an application, right? Before they call you in, what they look at? 
Your resume. Your yeah. resume. Yeah, you feel me? Before the banks give you the money, they look at what? Your personal, your resume. Fact. So keep that as... You don't even touch it for real. Don't even, it's already built. Oh, shit. Now go make an LLC. Go get funding. They're going to check your personal. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah. Go get another LLC. Check your personal. Cool. I just got 100 from this LLC. Maybe 150 from this LLC. You feel me? But that LLC going to fund your main LLC. Mm. Now they say like you don't have to pay that back or like nah, I mean I of course you got it's a loan but they say that if you mess it up you ain't got to worry about it hitting your personal like what well, I mean, can't be true nah it's it's gonna definitely you know go it can go back on you know as a bankrupt or you charge off they because you gonna put your social you know, on an application you get what I'm saying at the end of the day I tell people like this I don't preach that you feel me I preach don't ever run off on the plug yeah, you feel me because yeah. I'm a plug myself. I change people lives. Yeah. You run off on me, you give me a charge back, I never, you gonna come back to me in regard, but I never help you out again. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So why run off on it? Nah, that makes sense. You feel what I'm saying? Damn. Yo, so, so it's just, all right, so let's talk about it and I'm talk about me. Somebody that, that got up, they fuck up all their credit cards though. You can still fix that shit too? Like, you, yeah. I was, I, I'm assuming that you still gotta, you still be in charge, like, nah, because, responsible for that, right? Nah, because they wrote it off on their taxes. It's in charge, y'all. They wrote it off. They say, hey, you know, I'm going a, I'm to a write this off on a deduction type of thing. You know what I'm saying? And now they still want, you, you know, you to pay for it or they might sell it to a debt collector. You feel what I'm saying? Once they sell it to the debt, the, the debt collector, did you authorize that? Okay. Nah. Nah. Yeah, I don't get so it. that's fraud now. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? See, I was thinking like you still, even if it comes off your credit, you're still responsible for that. Nah, they can catch me when you, it's a, it's a business. It's a glitch. Catch me when you catch me. You feel what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. off. Especially when you're using proper terminologies like consumer laws and you're telling them to remove and delete. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And block mm -hmm. off of my credit report because of this incident. And you got the facts to, you know, back up your dispute. A lot of my stuff don't come back on people report. Okay. Even like, because I see people go far as car loans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even far as... uh. Student loans. Yeah, I mean, for me, I say if a student loan in charge off collection, that's a negative. We gotta get off. You know what I'm saying? But if it's positive, I don't touch it, man. Because yeah. at the end of the day, that's helping your report. So then you can get a car loan off and still keep the car. Now you playing around. Oh, I, I, that, I, I, now, I don't know. Now, right. now you now like for me, seriously, you just you don't even want to. Yeah, like you don't okay. want to play. Like now, if it's in, they got the car. Okay, and it's repo. Yeah, that's no. Nah, I follow you. I'm with you know that. Like, saying? But that I, makes sense, though. I ain't, I'm honorable. I ain't on no like. Yeah, we about to get this off you. If you come up to me, I'm gonna tell you like, yo, we ain't doing that. Like, you feel okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, because that makes sense. I wouldn't want you to get in the position. I'm fixing your credit. They not coming to me. Yeah, they gonna come back to you. And then it's still it ain't the streets, but it's still the streets. Cause now now I gotta worry about you snitching on me. Yeah, like I yeah. ain't I, yeah, I ain't on that. You yeah, feel what yeah, I'm saying? yeah. So yeah, it's just yeah. like you know we ain't on that. That makes sense. You feel me? I feel good that, that you say that though. Yeah, we ain't we ain't we ain't on that because it's just like, you know, now they telling you, yeah, you about to do 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot. Oh no, it wasn't even me that was doing it. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't no, on I that. I ain't know that ain't you worth it. I'm getting too much legal yeah. money for yeah, you to be fucking ain't up. Fucking me up. <laughs> 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 and then even like it's crazy because like even when you finessing a little bit, like I don't need nothing extra. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm my little finesse is cool. Like you, know you wanna come right here with all this. With all, this all that bullshit. <laughs> I said, yo, you can go find somebody else. Brother. You go to hell, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you can go find somebody else that's yeah. money hungry. I don't need right. that. No, nah, that's you feel me? I don't need that. Damn. But yeah. Damn, so that's for yo. Nah, I'm just damn. I ain't bro, I, I thought I was doomed. Nah, uh, you never doomed when you got somebody like me, bro. Nah, fine. You feel you never doomed. Damn, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you could just start over and just uh, how many uh. times you could do that though? Do they catch on ever? Nah, I don't see them catching on. You got how many people in this world? There's a lot. Damn, and you're not even 1% of that one. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> like a decimal. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You feel, that's crazy. you feel what I'm saying? But it, like, like, I know people watching this, but it's just like, try not to fuck it up. Yeah. But yeah, just sure. know if you did, it's it an opportunity. Yeah, it ain't the end of the world. That's why you got honorable people like myself that can change that. Mm. Like, it's people right now that. They probably never even touched their credit, but their parents fucked it up. Mm. And they like, damn, like, I can't get this, I can't get that. And they don't know that they can fix that. That's why I give people opportunities at a low cost. Mm. Why not pay $230 per month, right? 
and you got a collection that's five thousand. You're not gonna pay me five thousand. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Six months divided by two. I mean, six months times uh, two thirty. That's thirteen hundred. Mm. You just say you could do the math. You just save that. Mm. That's a win. Mm. That's a win. So let me ask you this then. I mean, yeah. of course you ain't gonna be real, but why? So with me, yeah. I told you it was like two months, bro. I think you got me a credit card. I, I don't even know if it was two months, bro. I swear, bro, it was fast <laughs> as hell. I got like my first seven thousand dollar credit card. Yeah, and I know people don't believe me when I say this, right? <laughs> I got approved for the uh, the Air Max joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I decided not to get the um the 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 the, the, the silver one. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. The, 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 the one. platinum. Yeah, the yeah, platinum one. Yeah. I could have got it. Yeah, for like, sure. Like I literally was approved, but I remember he was like. It ain't unlimited. Like what happened is, yeah, I remember you giving me the I, game I, and I, shit. I you so the I'm game. like, nah, I'm not gonna get it. Right. The whole time I get to send niggas with right, the platinum right, right. shit. And you like, damn, I could have got that. Yeah, <laughs> but they ain't gonna believe me. I'm like, man, I could have got that. I just decided not to get yeah, that. Yeah. I should have just got that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I should have just got that. But anyway, I said what I was gonna say was, you got a six month program almost. Just kind of say, yeah. What motivates you to get? All of this shit off in two months. Because if you keep them for six months, you get more money. Nah, that's not like that with me. I'd rather you get out the door fast because mm. you're going to tell somebody. Yeah. You feel me? How many people you brung to me? You feel what I'm saying? I'm embarrassed because I ain't had no affiliate. <laughs> <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, and that's more people. Yeah. You feel me? And I'm going to do the same thing with them. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I don't care if, to have you in as long as possible. That's not my motive. Mm. My motive is to get you right, get you get your personal right, get you some funding. You know what I'm saying? And then you tell people, oh, yeah, I just got a car, my house, credit cards with this. They're like, damn, because everybody else is fucking people over. Yeah. Like, damn, how you find this dude? You feel what I'm saying? And now I don't have to sell him. Yeah, my folks just told me all about you. I'm ready. They wild and ready. Mm. Let me ask you this, bro, because you was always the nigga that was getting it, right? Yeah. Did credit, would you say credit changed your life or just yeah. kind of? So you would say that? Yeah, my life is 10 times better. I could use the bank money to make me more money. I'm cool. Mm. You feel me? My time, my life is, yeah, I'm traveling world. I did 10 countries last year. Mm. All, all the credit shit. All the reward points. Bro, I, like, for that small amount of time, for me, like, we don't got to get too much, but, bro, bro when, when shit, when <laughs> life hits you, and I had a family, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. My yeah. God, boy. Uh, you just got, I mean, that's when it comes down to preparing, and you know what I'm saying? You got to. Don't get me wrong. It's just not about, all right, yeah, I'm spending money and all that. You got to use this credit to make you money. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? It got to, if you're going to use they shit, make sure it make you money. That's a fact. You feel me? Don't just use it just to use it. What I will say is I learned so much, though. And yeah. that small amount of, bro, I, it changed my life even for that small amount of time. Yeah. It, it, it What sucks about it is, <laughs> like, let's go back to the, the platinum shit. It's like, nigga don't never want it. Hear your advice if, if you can't show right, shit, right, 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 right. But it's like I be I know shit now, but it's like what the like fuck that. am I telling a nigga like my <laughs> shit? They won't listen if I had eight hundred credit go right. Listen, but and, and then also somebody I don't know if you know this right. So I had a client. She she um she tried to pull my card. She, I'm on a car. I'm on a I'm on a Zoom call with her. Right. She like yeah. I'm talking. To, I'm talking to her about her credit. She said, "Let me see your credit score." Mm. I'm like, damn. Jeez. But in my head, I already knew what it was. But in my head, I'm like, damn, what if I was somebody else that had fucked up credit, but I try and fuck they, you know, fix their credit? Mm. I pulled it up. I got like an eight ten. You know what I'm saying? So she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm with the right person. But I was glad she did that because a lot of y'all need to start doing that too. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Damn, you want to fix my credit? Let me see yours. That's some real shit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was so it was crazy because I had to record. I had to show people like this is what you should be doing. Mm. And that's another way of doing your due diligence. But then it was like, damn, what if I had fucked up credit? How would I spend it? Mm. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know. Because you really, again, like, what I would say is, and I ain't here trying to teach a horn for real, but I mean, whatever, it, it is what it is. Yeah. You really give niggas the game. Right. So much so that, I'm not saying I could do somebody credit, but, I mean, yeah. the way you gave me the game is like, I really could break it down. But again, nigga ain't trying to hear that shit if you shit not. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right. Because the thing is, I give people so much value. I don't give a fuck if it's motivation. I don't care if it's education, whatever. It's either you're going to do it or you're not going to do it. Yeah. When, you know, when I was starting off and you was my client and stuff like that, it was on some shit like you did everything I told you. Like you was enthused to know, what, you feel what I'm saying? And that got you your limits. That got you high score. That got you your will. You, yeah. you could have did whatever you wanted. Mm -hmm. 
And that feeling right there made you feel, yeah, I'm one of them. Yeah. They call you by your last name. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? It, it, it's the it's a different feeling when your credit is good, bro. Like, hey. even if like something go wrong, it's like having money. It's yeah. like I mean, like it's yeah. like you get it's like it's so it's, it's, this is crazy. Two two type people in this world, right? Yeah. You walk up to the counter, you go to buy something, your credit card decline, you know you got the bread. Right. It's like, hold up, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. You're still yeah. confident. Yeah. The other person who really don't have the bread, you go, you swipe. And it declined. Now you're embarrassed. It's right. like, like, damn. But when your credit is good, it's like you always feel like the first you person because it's like, yeah, wait, like, what the fuck? Oh, this not supposed to be happening. Yeah, like, like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, you so know? like, I tell, I tell people, man, cash is cash is king. Credit is unlimited. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I like to use credit as like insurance for real, for real. Like, you feel me? Um, especially knowing that the banks is going to pay you back after making you, you know, after you pay them. Mm. So the banks pay you back after you pay them. You get mm. what I'm saying? And they pay you back in cash back reward points. Mm. Now, if you're going to make an investment, that's just your daily spend. Now, if you're going to make an investment, always make sure that that investment is going to bring you back a ROI, a return on your investment. How soon, though? Depending on how soon you need to pay it back back. Depending on the credit card that you got. Okay. You feel yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So you might go get a 0% credit card with 15 months. That's a year and three months. That you got to make some money back. You feel me? And if you're a hustler and you know that your product or service is going to do that, then why not? You so And you could liquidate it, like, you could take the money off the credit card as soon take, as you get it? You could take it off. You could do it, whatever you got to do. You can tell your friends to invoice you. You know what I'm saying? Use the credit card and then tell them to, you know, transfer the bread back over to your bank account. Whatever. Use the bank's money. Mm. If you're going to go for a loan, let's just say you needed 50, go get 70. Mm. Go get 60. Why? Because now, let's just say 70. You needed 50, you went to go get 70, right? That 20 is going to be paying my loan until I flip this 50. Okay. You that feel, makes sense. You yeah, feel what I'm saying? That makes sense. Instead paying the payments. Yeah. Right. Even if it's like at a minimum. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Like even like with a loan, there's really no minimum. You got to pay that monthly. Okay. That, oh, yeah. But yeah. that 20 is going, let's just say you dock out that 20 for, you know, two years. Mm. You got two years to flip this yeah. 50 and make it 100. Make it 150. Make it two. Make it a half a man. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? What's the smartest investment you think? So you've been doing this four years now. Yeah. What you think is the smartest investment to try to, to that'll get your money back? Not guaranteed, but damn near close. Uh, shit. A land, cre credit, a credit company. Well, like I'm saying, like if you get a loan or credit card and you liquidate the money and you oh, invest uh, in something. But fix, you fixing flips. Any, for real, for it could be any, I think not to be a facade, it could be anything that you're passionate about. Mm. You feel me? If if you take the if you take chasing the money out and be passionate about it, you you could be you can make money. Mm. I seen motherfuckers that were passionate about clothing make millions. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Now I'm not gonna take this bread out and get inside Toro, and I'm not. You okay. know that's not my lane. Or I'm not gonna get inside Airbnb. That's not my lane. You feel what I'm saying? And that's where people mess up at. They get their bread and they. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put my hand inside this cookie jar, this cookie okay. jar, this cookie jar. And that's not your lane. You ain't even master one thing yet. That makes sense. You feel what I'm saying? Wow, that makes sense. Damn. It, it, yo, you really dropping game. Because, like, even me, as a, uh, like, I feel like I'm a novice with them when it comes to this. Because when I was getting it, I wasn't trying to put it in my podcast. Right. I was trying to, like, I was trying to put it in other shit. Right. So I can... Have investments, right? But it probably would have been smarter to put it in the podcast. Put it in the podcast because that's where that's your baby. That's yeah. That's, you ain't gonna fuck. Yeah. You ain't gonna fuck that up. You gonna go all in hundred percent. Damn. You feel me? As it, that sounds so. It's simple. Like the simplest shit be the realest. Like it's. The, I overlook. Yeah. yeah like you, you look me? overlook the smallest. I don't right. know. Because I'm like, bro, I'm gonna put it in. I want to go Airbnb Toro. Nah, you stay in your own lane. You feel mm. me? You gonna appreciate that more now when you got it. Master is automated. You got your employees; they all good. Every now you making uh, five hundred thousand. You know you is now you can move on to something else. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Now you now you back in ground mode. You back in square one. You back in ground mode because you 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 pampering that now. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And then that's you know how people say you should have seven streams of income. Yeah. You got to figure out the first stream first, master that. Then you move on to the next stream. Then the next stream. Then the next stream. Mm. That's how I did. Like, it wasn't no, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. I played with Toro for a little. I figured out that wasn't my lane. Get me out of there. Mm. I played with Airbnb. That's not my lane. Get me out of there. You feel me? 
I'm gonna stick with this credit funding um, affiliate. Now I got that locked in. I'm on private lending. I'm on fix and flips. You feel what I'm saying? Now I'm mastering that. I'm I'm learning it. I'm mastering it. Mm -hmm. and once I get on that, then I can go to the something that I'm showing my passion about. Yeah, facts. Mm -hmm. Yo, how important is um? I mean, we know it's important, but if you had to weigh it on a scale when we talk about money, yeah, versus time, like mm -hmm. getting the money versus having the time. Mm. So you asking me which one is more important? Yeah. Damn. They both they tough. They both tough. I would say getting the money. And this is why. Okay. Uh, I would say people be like, yo, how was your day? And a lot of people be like, it was busy as shit. Like, it's busy, but good. Mm -hmm. I don't think that is good for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like to say my day was productive. Mm. The reason being is I'd rather be more productive than busy. Right. You right. feel me? Because if I can give four hours of being productive, I got the next four to just chill. But mm. I'm still making money. Yeah. My whole thing is get everything automated. So I could be productive for how many hours I say I'm gonna be productive and then move on to the next. Yeah. I I only ask that because like I feel like it depends where you at. Right. So I was telling um my brother morning after and shit, I was saying like when I was had the jobs and the credit and shit, what was most important to me was the time. Mm -hmm. So because I had the, the money, the real estate, the, the fund, I'm right. like, yo, I, I would pay people to give me more time. Right. But like when you fall on hard times, it's like, all right, now you got to make a decision. All I got is time. So I will work to get this money back because right. then I know once I get the money, I can pay for the time. But you just said you got a plan. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of people don't got a plan. Yeah. And that's what be fucking people up. Like you just told me straight up what your plan is. Mm -hmm. So that's the only reason why I had to do the same thing. I had to before stay vigilant, got to the peak. I had to, I was front line myself. Oh, everything. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I knew, okay, cool. An opportunity gonna come, and a lot of people be missing their opportunities mm. when they see it in front of them. I don't. I, I tried my hardest not to miss an opportunity. Why? Because that opportunity might not come again. So that's when the VAs happen. Mm. I took that. Imagine if KC never took that opportunity because he was scared to take that risk to pay VAs. To do the work. Yeah. That would really turn me into a boss for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have no emotions. You're not going to do the work. Fire. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So, again, I say money. If you're starting off, it's going to be always time first. Mm. But I would say money because now I could put people in position that's smarter than me. Mm. If I don't know how to do editing, get somebody that's smarter than me. I'm going to pay you what you, you know, it got to make sense. I'm going to pay you what you want. But I know what I'm looking for. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So, I'm putting people in position. And that's what a, a boss do. He put somebody in a position that's smarter than who he is and what he does and things of that nature for the business can continue to grow. Yeah. Yo, before we get out of here, bro, what happened? What changed? Because when we first was locking in, you was heavy on the, like, content. Yeah. I don't feel like you was heavy. Like, you still do content, but it's more so of lifestyle, like, what you already doing. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. Ain't, I don't. I don't think you're, like, going out having a content day. No. If anything, you probably like, I don't know, I'll see you at a club because it's your birthday, but you'll make that into some content or you'll go to, you like, you know what I'm saying? You'll travel that turns into content, but mm -hmm. that's really what you already doing. Right, but at right, first, right. I feel like you were trying to schedule the content. Right, I, I just felt that was fate. You know what I'm saying? I, like, for me, I want people to really know, like, I got a business, I got a personal page. That's a mm. business page. I don't okay. have multiple pages. Yeah. I want people to know who KC is. You feel me? And I felt like that was connecting to more people. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I don't show people a lifestyle to be like, yeah, I'm shitting on you. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm showing you like, yeah, you're going to see my growth. Mm. And that's going to make you want to change. I'm going to give you some game too into it. So my content now is more so game, lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Motivation, things of that nature. Um, It's not just, oh yeah, it's just going to be all, you know, education. No. It's going to be like, this is who KC is. So you can get that connection. We heart to heart now. Mm. You feel me? I want you to feel comfortable to DM me. I'm a live, I'm a real life person. So we just went to Invest Fest and shit. And people was coming up to me. Damn, KC, I, I peep that's you. You know, you be on live. Your lives change. And I stopped going live. Mm. But just hearing multiple people, now I'm back on live. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I was, I wasn't taking that serious. And I'm like, damn, like. My purpose is to change people's lives. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you never know what somebody might be going through. But they just joined my life, and now they not ready to crash out. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So it was just, like, another opportunity. Like, KC, you got to curve out some time. Mm. 
You know, I want to say uh, it's a compliment, but like sort of like uh, some words of affirmation too. Yeah. One thing I seen you at uh, the Circle of CEO of it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it was a rooftop party. I don't know. Where, okay. Like yeah, but we know yeah. when I seen you and shit, and what was there. It was good to see you there. Right. But like I'm gonna tell you what like I be telling myself, but I don't listen. Yeah. It was good to see you there because you was in the room. Right. Right. And I feel like niggas like us, I, I don't give a fuck about that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Not against them. Like yeah, they yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. but the room itself, right, right, right. I don't really care about right, that shit, right, right. bro. But I'm I'm gonna just tell you, like, it looks good to see you there because you don't gotta be in the mix to be in the mix. Right. As long as niggas see your face. Right, right, right. You feel me? Like, so I just wanna say, bro, I salute you for, for doing that. Keep doing that, even though I know it's times where like Niggas don't even want to be bothered with that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It, it's it was, just it was just for me, and that was so last minute for me to go in that. Like I, I made that decision like thirty minutes to go in that joint. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, and like I said, shout out to them. But it was just like coming from where we come from. I, I guess that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I've been having motion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's not to be cocky, but I've been who I am. Yeah. And for me, I really don't be. You know how they be like? You know, you need friends and. Mm-hmm. I started this myself. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I started without my platform myself, you know, and I'm going to continue. You know what I'm saying? Now, during, along the way, meeting new people, and but they got to be genuine. Yeah, and it got to, like, for me, and I, some people might not understand this, and just to paint, and I think you feel the same way. For me, I just like to be introduced the right way. Right. Right, so, like, <laughs> How can I put this? So, for example, when I was shooting for you, right? Yeah. I'd be like, you don't got to tag me because I don't want nobody to right, get it right, misconstrued, right? Because right, right, right. now when people hit me like, nah, bro. It's yeah. not what I do. I know how to do it. Right. Now they hit, they act, they treat me like the videographer. Not saying there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't want to be treated like a videographer. Right. It just right. is what it is. Same with those rooms. It's like, if you're not with who everybody sees as them guys, right. then they look at you as something else. So I know. So it's like, I'd rather wait until y'all see me there mm -hmm. to show up. But... At the same time, I feel that way, but also I do acknowledge that even me being there, there are people who look at me as, so, you know. You feel me? So that's why I was commending you because, like, just being real, I usually just don't care about yeah. it. I don't yeah, want yeah, to, yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. But I've seen how sometimes it's popping out. It it ain't even that serious of a thought. I make it more complicated than right. what it got to be. So I was just saying, like, keep it look good on you, basically. No, nah, for so sure. Like, it was keep, definitely it was definitely a good look because I was, you know. You know, I, for me, when I pop out like that, I be wanting to see who going to come up to me and, you know, tell mm -hmm. me something that I need to. Because if you tell me something, like when we went to Invest Fest, it was like, yo, I, I was enjoying your lives. Yep. That's something that's key to me. Yep. You feel me? So I go out now and be like, all right, somebody might want to introduce themselves to me. I'm giving people opportunities to show them that I'm a real life person. Yeah. And I'm just not internet. Mm -hmm. And I don't got nothing to hide. Yeah. Because a lot of people, you know, they just play the internet, take people shit. And you never see them outside. Yeah. Or they got security. Fuck, you got security for an entrepreneur event. Yeah. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So look. it's just like, it's just the look. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like, I try to be so like 100% real, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I only got one name, man. Yeah. What I will say, bro, shit changes, bro. Like, yeah. I remember when I went to Invest Fest, and it was just frustrating for me because, like, the first time, because, like, I was chasing. Yeah. Trying to get interviews, trying to get interviews. And by the grace of God, like I did good. Like I, I got, I think, I talk shit about all these events, right? right. So I go to Invest Fest and I land the, um, damn, the 19 Keys interview. Yeah. And I think I got a couple other ones this first year. So now, like, I, I went from like my ignorant Baltimore me, right, talking shit to like, all right, this shit worked. Like, it, right. cool, I ain't wanna go through it like this, but I did. Right. And then the next year, this year, I went, and the the energy changed. Right. What I'm saying is saying like it do for the same. It it will do the same thing will happen to you if it didn't start already. And what I mean by the energy change, people ask me how was it this year, and I didn't feel like I was observing. I feel like I was a part of it, even though right. I wasn't on nothing. Right, right. Like somebody, this is what it felt like. Somebody commented on my page. They was like, "Yo, it looked like you belong there." And that's how it felt. Mm -hmm. Whereas though the first time it felt like I was an outsider was trying, outside to get in. trying to get in. You get what I'm saying? Right. I hate that feeling. Right, like right, So right. maybe it just be like a coping mechanism. So I hate that feeling. But this year it actually felt like I belong there. Right. You because, get what I'm saying? you know, people see who you is. They know who you yeah, are. Yeah, exactly. You feel me? Like, it's just like, oh, all right. He do, they know who you is. Your name speak by because you work. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's all about 
putting in that work. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I belong in every room. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck if it's your platform. I don't give because when I'm in that room, my energy gonna shift the room. Like, you gonna know, oh yeah, KC stay vigilant here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's because my work. You are gonna see me put that work in. You are gonna see content. You are gonna see me on social media. Somebody gonna say something about me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you know that's them late nights, early mornings. Hard work never get unnoticed out there. Yeah, man. Nah, I mean I fuck with you, bro, for real. Like the the real. I it, I don't know. I don't know if it just be like niggas just be niggas. <laughs> because I think Wolf asked me like, yo, like you don't be with KC. I'm like, nah, man. Like, <laughs> but it, like, I don't know why I be what. Like I fuck with yeah, you. you like, feel me? I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, with that, that, I don't be with Wolf either. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. It's just like, what it is, is like, we all got our own motion. Yeah. You feel, that's just what it is. Yeah. We all doing our own shit. And when we coming together, it's love. Yeah. But, you know, if you don't need me, continue to do what you got to do. You feel mm. me? But when I see, what's up, bro? Like, you feel me? Like, it's always love. Like, yeah, facts. And I don't got time to be like, you know, I just, I don't go outside. Niggas is working. Yeah, niggas is working. Yeah, yeah, yeah niggas is working. It's, That's a fact, yeah. And even when I'm, pro- when you see me outside, you might think I'm outside. Nigga, nah, I'm you working. really working. You <laughs> yeah, feel yeah, what I'm saying? Right. Like, you really worried. I'm really like, working. That's, that's just what it is. Like, yeah. I'm outside, yeah, you might see me in the club, but I probably got paid to be in that motherfucker. Yeah, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? All right, I'm in this room, I'm working. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. most likely, I'm just working, enjoying my life, man. Traveling, staying out, people mix, staying out. Just doing what I'm on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is good, bro. I'm glad you pulled that, man. We probably got to do this again, man. No, we T- got to. Tell niggas how to follow you and everything. Oh, uh, man. Instagram, kc.thegoat. kc.dagoat. All right. I'm on Instagram. Um, Twitter is kc underscore dot the goat. You know what I'm saying? kc underscore dot the goat. But yeah, that's my platforms, man. Make sure y'all get at me. Y'all can DM me. Y'all want credit fix. Whatever the case may be, you just need some words or affirmation. You need some motivation. Just get with me. My dog really motivating niggas out here, man. For real. What, what, what my, man, my man Meek said? Motivation to the trenches for yeah, real, man. man. For real, man. Yeah. Stay man. vigilant. I got KC the GOAT. J Hill. J Hill Podcast is a wrap. We out. That's a wrap, man. That was good, dog. Yes, sir.